Hollywood. Some say the streets here are paved with gold. Others may disagree. But whether you agree or not, these are the streets we drive our dreams on. It's time to put down the top, crank up the tunes, and step on the gas. Welcome to the greatest event in television history. Live from Hollywood, California, it's the live countdown to the greatest event in television history. And now, your host, Jeff Probst. Hey, everybody, I'm Jeff Probst. We've spent the last year and a half searching for the greatest event in television history. Three times we thought we'd found it, but three times we were wrong. Shit brown wrong. But to be sure, we contacted the tallest streaker in Los Angeles to see if any of the last three episodes were, in fact, the greatest event in television history. No. Tonight, we bring you the final greatest event in television history. A shot-for-shot -shot recreation of the opening credits from the hit 1980s Tom Hanks, Peter Scolari comedy, Bosom Buddies, with bona fide movie star Paul Rudd and ex-smoker Adam Scott. For the last time, let's start the clock. With a budget of over $40,000 and a crew larger than many crews who have worked on things, they were ready to shoot. But first, let's go back three months before shooting began. My name is Paul Rudd, and I'm playing the role of Kip Wilson in the Bosom Buddies remake. Welcome to my laboratory. I uh, keep lots of things in here. I like to do research, uh, stuff from the 80s. What's important to me is to just immerse yourself. The only other actor I've ever really been able to kind of relate to is Daniel Day-Lewis, because we do a lot of the same kind of stuff. I don't understand method. I don't know what that means. My technique is living. I like to live as the character. So I wear that as a badge of honor. These are articles and things from the 80s. These are called cassettes. This was our president in the 1980s. This was Ronald Reagan. What I've got here is the weather report, the week that they shot the pilot to Bosom Buddies. It's good for me just to know these kinds of things because it just affects maybe the way that I even move. As their start date grew closer, Paul and Adam decided to meet to discuss the project. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hello. Welcome to my laboratory. Check this out. You ever see one of these? Yeah, a uh, Rubik's Cube, sure. That's it. Oh, my God, you know. I got the weather reports here. Man, you are really prepared. It's just the, uh, it's the way that I roll, I guess. It's the way that I'm wired. Yeah, me too. I, I'm, I'm Oh, super, good, right on. Yeah, what have you got? What have you dug up? I, oh my god, I forgot. I forgot all my materials and stuff that, like, oh, it's like cool. my weather reports and stuff, all the stuff that I. Don't worry about it. No, no, it's cool. I'm glad you uh -huh. just have something. Oh, check this out. Does this guy look familiar to you? Um, yeah. 90 days later, they were ready to shoot, but Rudd hadn't been heard from in weeks. With the first day of shooting upon them, production even went so far as to hire a replacement, just in case he didn't show up. Okay, so Paul's like three hours late. I mean, was he, he just expects us to wait around all day for him? It was ridiculous. Hey, everybody. Hi, sorry oh, I'm late. Hi. I'm Chip. He's here. Send the replacement home. Copy that. You can go home. Sorry that I'm late. I uh, I got caught up watching the news. Can you believe Jimmy Carter bailed out Chrysler again? Oh, oh. he's the worst. Uh, hey guys, did you hear how Rich Pryor is doing? What? Yeah, Richard Pryor. He burned himself. I think it was an accident. But my girlfriend says he smokes drugs. Henry. Oh my gosh. I heard the craziest thing. Did you know that Darth Vader is Luke Skywalker's dad? What? I just saw the new movie Empire Strikes Back. Hey, by the way, is it cool? You know, because we're playing roommates in this thing, that maybe we live under the same roof for a while. I mean, I have like a wife and kids and I have a family. And You mean like in a hotel room or? Well, I already have a moving company sending my stuff over to your house. What? I just hope they didn't get caught in traffic because of this whole Iranian hostage crisis, right? <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be tubular. <laughs> Welcome to my laboratory. You're amazing. <laughs> you are. <laughs> Little known fact, the version of Billy Joel's 1978 hit, My Life, that is used in the credit sequence was in fact not sung by Billy Joel. It was sung by a sound-alike. I'm pleased to announce that tonight, for the first time, the opening credits to Bosom Buddies will be paired with Billy Joel's voice. It's really gratifying to know that they're gonna actually use my voice singing uh, my song on, on the TV show Bosom Buddies. 
I was in the wilderness for years when they didn't use my voice. But you hang in there long enough and you get your shot. You know, I'm back. I'm back big time. Got a call from an old friend we used to... That's not it. What's not it? Is there any way you can sing it and maybe sound more like the guy from the show? Let me try. Do you need like some time? Yeah, can I get some water? Yeah, we'll get you some flat water to match your voice. Go to the shop, sold a house, bought a ticket to the west. Those aren't the right lyrics. <clears throat> yeah, that sounded weird. Now he gives them a stand up routine in LA. And I believe it, it's not a stand up routine, it's stand up tartine. Stand like those, up tartine. The, the yeah, like the sandwiches with no top. Now he gives them a stand-up tartine in LA. Meanwhile, the Scott family were adjusting to life at home with their new roommate. Did you get the prize already? What's the prize? I don't think that one comes with a prize. Hey, I'm just I'm done. I was told initially that Paul was going to be staying with us. Um, I had assumed for the duration of the shoot. And from what I can surmise, he now lives here because he's brought all of his things and moved out of his own home and now has moved into our home. Shazbot? And is a member of our family structure. Shut up. I'm pretty positive he was a hoarder because the amount of stuff doesn't really line up. It's so much. It's so much. It's almost unbelievable. Hey, Ellie, you know what would be totally shredding? If you what could just go in the uh, refrigerator and grab a 12 pack of tab and a couple of Rubik's cubes for me and my roommate. While Paul and Adam were learning how it felt to live together, Rudd's obsession with staying true to the 80s time period created tension on set. Hey, Henry. Uh, hey, Kip. How's it going? What are you doing? Oh, what? right, my phone. It's not, it's. It's what is this thing? Oh! Okay. Hey, how's it looking, Paul? Hmm? Who? How we looking, Kip? Oh, hey, Henry. Yeah, good, man. <laughs> Grody. Hey, uh, Kip, what is this thing you're looking at here? Hmm? You seem pretty comfortable looking at this flat screen. Get what the f is that thing? No! Oh! Ah! Look, Emily, I'm so sorry, okay? He will be gone. We just need like a couple more days till we finish shooting. I have to talk to I you know. about something. Okay, I know how hard this has been on you, but I we- I slept with him. What? I f***ed Paul. You, you, Hey, buddy. Wait, what's happening? We f***ed, bro. You. Well, I don't understand. You. Wait, wait, wait a second. No, it's just the two of us. I heard that. I'm. I heard you. I just want to be clear. I put it in her sugar walls. When did you sleep together? Last night we. And then we this morning. Where did you do it? I her in the garage, first, and then I uh, her in the crawl space. Honey. I'm sorry, brother. I just, you know what? I needed to know what it felt like to destroy the life of my best friend. For the role. I mean, just for the role. Yeah. That doesn't happen in Bosom Buddies. You gotta go. Go? Go You have where? to leave the house. Yeah, man, you really gotta get out of here now. Where am I gonna go? Adam's life is now in shambles. Okay, for the last time, here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, seven 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. When we first moved to New York, we had a great apartment that was dirt cheap. And we found out why it was so cheap. Our friend Amy said there was a great apartment in her building. Dirt cheap, but it's a hotel for women. Okay, we made one adjustment. Now these other ladies know us as Buffy and Hildegard. But they also know us as Kip and Henry, Buffy and Hildy's brothers. I am uh, crazy about the blonde. <laughs> this experience is gonna make a great book. See, it's all perfectly normal.
of the 